basically my understanding of climate decolonization is um, for the in the context of uh, slum dwellers uh, where um, which is our constituency uh, for me a lot of people living in big cities in informal settlements uh, are the ones who usually suffer uh, the biggest effects of climate change when it comes to flooding, when it comes to heat in India and all those other consequences. And the discussion around climate change is very elitist. It happens at very big global platforms uh, without any recognitions to the effects of people, poor people and people living in the global south. And uh, the, for me, decolonization is how now do we change uh, the narrative? How do we change the discussion? How do we uh, amplify the, 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 the discussions and the adaptation and the resilience strategies that communities are using and have been using for many, many years in terms of addressing those challenges, environmental challenges? Uh, because at the moment the discussion and the, the global discussion uh, has no any effect and is not reality. It's, uh, it's, 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 it, it doesn't translate to anything at, uh, in the global south. So for me what decolonization will mean, uh, looking at the solutions that community have been using and are using for many years, and these are local initiatives using local materials, look, looking uh, local solutions uh, to address climate challenges. There's a talk about all these resources being put in uh, to address climate change challenges. Uh, this discussion, these resources do not even trickle down to the people who are mostly affected. So that's also need to change. For me, those are the key things that need to change in terms of resources. Where do we put resources to address this? How do we amplify? How do we uh, look at all these solutions and try to replicate them. How do we take this community initiative, these local strategies that um, are being used, and uh, we support them, we put resources. How do we get cities, um, city authorities and national government into these discussions? Because at the moment, poor communities are being left on their own, with their own strategies, with their own uh, re resilience strategies, mitigation strategies. Uh, basically, they are on our own. How do we push for cities, national government, and all the other actors in the, in the in the climate space to support this initiative? How do we uh, look at the challenges and the effects of climate change, not as their problem, but our problem? SDI, for the in the last um, six seven years, has been the lone voice at the global space in terms of. Um, advocating and, uh, and, 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 and um, also pushing for the recognition of uh, the changes of climate change, uh, the effects of climate change uh, in cities and specifically in formal settlements. More and more we are seeing these devastating effects when it comes to flooding. There's a new phenomenon now, people are being called uh, eviction by climate change. Uh, people now are afraid of the rains, are afraid of of all of these things which are which is new to them uh, so sdi has been pushing for a recognition of this effect sdi has been working with other partners and um, communities now have um, come up with their own strategies with their own solutions in terms of dealing uh, with, the, with this effect so in some countries um, they, they, they are building um, a very strong youth uh, climate change activist, young climate change activist. Uh, other cities are working with their um, governments, uh, with their city authorities to try and uh, be more proactive. Instead of waiting for these effects to come, instead of waiting, they are more or less sitting down with their cities and their government to prevent the next disaster, to prevent the next catastrophe. The call for action is uh, the recognition that um, uh, climate change is here with us. Um, let's uh, mainstream, let's 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 demystify uh, this discussion around climate change. Let's localize the discussion. Communities have been uh, the discussion has been ongoing for a very long time. Uh, we have people who are mitigating. Uh, we have communities. We work with groups that uh, women who are 
uh, building, uh, making briquettes as an alternative source of energy as opposed to charcoal and firewood. We are having young people recycling, uh, building uh, furniture with recycle, recyclable materials. But to them, that's, they don't think they are mitigating around climate change. They, they, for them, it's survival. So how do we now localize the climate change discussion? How do we put resources? How do we mainstream uh, the, uh, the, the, the climate change agenda in, uh, all, in, uh, in our everyday life and our everyday activities?